I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes it's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Tyler, it's time to unload, just back it up We kicking in that front, don't think you taxing us, you think it's sweet <laughs> This stick gon' handle the beef like a spatula, he learned it all in the street <laughs> Scream rest in peace, he died with his bachelor's luck And I'm yelling free nine, I write whenever it's free time You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise You heard me, right? I got my guy in the building Showtime is Peter, nobody that knows bodies Okay, but if you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's the way to stay in tune with all the content that we got going on. Absolutely. So, we're uh, fresh into Ultimate Madness. Mm -hmm. You know, the semi-final round mm -hmm. just happened. And um, during the semi-final round, there was some, some madness announcements. Yep. And the first announcement that I would like to start with is none other than T-Top uh -huh. versus B-Dot. Education creates separation, which can lead to elevation. Okay. Uh, B dot West Coast representer put on for the West Coast rooftop battles. Put mm -hmm. on for you know a lot of people were asking when was his bigger looks coming? What was he gonna get? Mm -hmm. And he winds up on some madness versus T top. Now there are a lot of folks. Come on, B dot right? B dot. Cool, gotcha. B dot ends up on some madness. Mm -hmm. Versus none other than T-Top. Right. Uh, T-Top is an angle-based MC. He definitely gets busy. Uh, I know him and Swamp had a lot of back and forth through the year. And, and you know, T-Top had other battles too. But he's battling against B-Dot mm -hmm. in a battle where the may the best angle win. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, B-Dot is a very calculated MC. Mm -hmm. He does well in, in a lot of the smaller rooms. Uh, he's performed well. He battled on the rooftop, did his thing. And now it's him versus T-Top. And the battle is going down on some madness. Congratulations to B Dot for even being on some madness. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Uh, I seen him in one of his bigger looks, him versus uh, a lot of his battles. But I love the third round that he had against, you know, uh, Tay Rock, LA Gas Ain't Cheap when mm -hmm. he had the West Coast battle against Emerson Kennedy. That was a lot of their coming out party. But uh, I want to address the elephant in the room. You know, um, I want to address the elephant. So I'm chilling, mm -hmm. I'm minding my business, and uh, I get a message, you know, I start getting message that, you know, my, my, my man Showtime SP, he's a regular in the caffeine chat, oh. he's always giving his comments and mm -hmm. thoughts, and I'm going to throw it to you, mm -hmm. uh, and it was said that you said mm -hmm. that you thought mm -hmm. that Swamp versus T-Top would be a better battle. Matter of fact, I, I think I got it. I got the screenshot. Yeah. You know oh, yeah. Let, mm -hmm. I think, let's, let, let's keep the, let's check the oh, files. Yeah, check the files. So, Showtime SP says, T-Top versus Swamp would have been better. Sh you know, shrugs the shoulders. Right. And then B-Dot takes that and says, never like this little peanut head nigga. Mm. Basically saying mm. that he never liked you anyway. Oh, you pretty because much. Because cool. you said that T-Top versus Swamp would have been better. Mm -hmm. So this is where I'm going to stop. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll talk about the battle, but I want to get the stage is yours. All right. So since we kept the file, let's make sure that we keep the file on the first time. And the very first thing that I said when that happened, I said, ooh, T-Top versus B-Dot, I like it. And I had the fire emojis all in, right? Even got about 45 likes or something like that, right? <laughs> right. I also did say that said statement, but do they ever pay attention to the first part? Of course not. But when I say something would have been better. Now, I also got way more likes on that joint. We'll tag on that first. The reason why I said T-Top versus Swamp would have been better, only reason why, because there was a narrative. There was a storyline. We've seen this unfold in front of our eyes. I mean, shit. Uh, T-Top had a Swamp Clown shirt mm -hmm. in, in his in his promo video, so that just means it's normal stuff. Like, oh, okay, well, obviously, they might want to see each other right. in some sort of battle or in some sort of light. Now, we had Briz versus Mook on the card. There was a storyline attached to that. Chess versus Shine. There was a story. You understand what I'm saying when I'm saying that there was a storyline attached to it? Okay. And now, you bring me the story of that is T-Top. Versus B dot. Okay. Now, do I have a problem with this battle? Not at all. Right. I do believe that the best angler will win. Mm -hmm. And I'll even give you my prediction on who I think would actually actually win. We we we, we gonna 
gonna cut that yeah, part okay. out. But here's my point of it. I was cool with all of that. But when you start to say you little, you never liked the peanut head nigga. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you look, never mind. I'm gonna just leave it like this. It's all fine and dandy when, when you know, when, when, when I say what I say. And I'm not going to duck any of this smoke. I'm just saying, beat out, I love you 100%. I'm still a big fan of you. It's fine that you never liked me. I never came in this game for you niggas to like me in the first place. That's the reason why I say what I say. With all of that being said, I'm totally fine with this being a Summer Madness look. I think this is a beautiful look for B-Dot to be on Summer Madness. But the mm -hmm. last time I checked, mm -hmm. B-Dot was saying, I'll be waiting on the roof, waiting for who? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lux. So you mean to tell me now I'm crazy? Oh, well, what about the time where, where I said that there could have been other people that I feel as though that B-Dot, I feel the same way that B-Dot could have battled anybody, I don't want to say anybody else, but maybe a Chilla Jones. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Somebody else that I feel as though that could stretch you. You mean to tell me you come off of a classic with Saga? Literally one of the top battles of the year. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come in here and then you're going to battle T-Top where I feel as though that the focus from T-Top, as far as T-Top and his writing is concerned, he can battle anybody, he can angle against anybody. I just feel as though that that narrative was painted, that carefully crafted bars, that anger, that aggression that T-Top has from that last video that we saw and the fact, the backlash that he got from it, he ready to smoke the nigga that he had a problem with. Mm. Now it's B-Dot's fault. Mm. You're in front, you're in my way. T-Top now has to get, go through you and not only does he have to show and prove that he has to smoke you now, B-Dot. Like this, he can't just beat you. He has to smoke you because he has to prove a point to somebody else. Right. I didn't want that for you, B-Dot. I didn't want this. This is not what this, like I said, I did not want this. I thought that a T-Top versus Swamp would have been a little bit better. But we got the battle at hand. Mm -hmm. I believe that B-Dot can be that cog in the machine. He can be that fork in the road. He can be that issue that T-Top is going to have when it comes to that room. Mm -hmm. Because B-Dot doesn't need a crowd. No. B-Dot doesn't need anybody. I can, nigga, you about to listen to everything I got to say. And I'm going to talk to you and your soul. Whereas I feel as though right now on this point, I think that T-Top doesn't really have like he's gonna have his angles he's gonna have stuff but i just feel as though that that maybe that emotion is not gonna be there for b-dot mm -hmm. and that is why i just thought the battle would have been better mm -hmm. i still got b-dot winning this i'm like ooh, ooh. um you got one more time though <laughs> one more small head joke one more peanut head joke i'm gonna get the fire well here's the deal right so b-dot to me has been having a pretty good year you know he's been doing well he had the, the classic with saga and i felt like if saga didn't have his downfalls versus mike p and versus Holmesy, right he probably might have been another person to be considered to be on summer madness but when you take those those rough steps and have those rough see b dot didn't have those stumbles you know what i'm saying because he wasn't battling right so sometimes mm. You know, that's another point that I have for B dot. Present. Sometimes you know you can persevere by preserving yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, that's whoo, come on whoo, now. Whoo, whoo, I just made that up. Perseverance by preserving yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're not out there, we're not seeing you lose. If we're not seeing you lose, your stock is staying high because. The last thing I remember B dot from is the rooftop. Exactly. And he's still fired. Still you know sitting what I'm there with so the Batman cape he's still, like, I'm he's just waiting. Still sitting there waiting. And <laughs> I understand the swamp narrative. You know what I'm saying? That you know, Swamp and him have history, they go back and forth, you know, we've done blogs, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So I understand, you know. And recaps and bar recaps breakdowns. and bar breakdowns. Did you watch those? And, you know, the videos and you know, every time Swamp and them release a diss track. They send it to me directly. Mm -hmm. So I understand where this is going. Yeah. They're going to battle. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, they're going to battle. Yeah. That That's without a shadow of a doubt. T-Time and Swap are going to battle. Right. But when I look at it, the Summer Madness thing, mm -hmm. I understand why B-Dot got the look. I understand. Yeah. Because Swamp and him would have been a great battle, but I'm not going to take away from what B-Dot has done in order to push the narrative when I know that that battle is going to happen regardless. Swamp I got you. Top, you know what I'm saying? Understand because what they're not aligned right now. Mm -hmm. they're, you got one person saying one thing, you got another person saying another thing, and they're going back and forth. They're on live streams. They're on caffeine stream. They're not agreeing. Mm -hmm. So 
why not put T-Top in front of somebody where they don't, they don't have all the underlying issues. They can see each other battling and just get it out of the way. Now, this is a dangerous battle for T-Top because if T-Top gets demolished by B-Dot, yeah. then what's the reason for them to even battle Swan? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So exactly. I get where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. So when I look at things from a holistic perspective, from the outside looking in mm -hmm. at the grievance that B-Dot might have had with you, mm -hmm. I see where you're coming from and I see where he's coming from. Right. The reason why I see where he's coming from because he's looking at it like, yo, you're shooting at my biggest look because Summer Madness is his bigger look, regardless of who the fuck he's battling, Summer right. Madness is the biggest look, right? Mm -hmm. And it's on Caffeine. You got to understand, Caffeine got way more viewers than any other pay-per-view or anything else because free is me. When mm -hmm. some shit is free, oh, it's lit. It's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody in that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. So, it's the biggest look for him mm -hmm. individually. But if you ask me, if I had two battles on the table, and you ask me which one I want to see first, I want to see today, mm. of course I'd be like, yo, I want to see this one. I definitely do because they got the backstory. But if you if this is the way the sequence of events is happening, mm -hmm. him versus T-Top is happening first, like I said, yeah. let it happen. Right. Let it happen. So. I, ain't, I ain't against it either. Like I'm right. not I'm not like rallying or protesting against it at all. I'm not rallying against anybody. If I'm not rallying against B Dot being on Summer Madness. B Dot deserves he, to be on Summer Madness. Yeah, I just felt as though maybe the opponent could have just been a little bit different. That's right. it. Okay. Maybe even some narrative, because like I said, B Dot has had back and forths with um with uh where he's where he's throwing shots at Lux. And mm -hmm. you and everybody's talking about the best pins, the best pins. You think what I'm saying? Like right. you know, like I never really I never really said that B Dot is trash or nothing like that. No, 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 I'm no, only no, no. saying that battle is the mismatch, but Smack is also known to put those type of URL is known to make those mis mismatch battles. Right. Some are great, like uh like 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 when you saw yeah, I, I feel like Rockin' uh, Taylor, uh, I just want to say Rockin', uh, uh, Rockin' uh, Daylight was was more of a Styles class, and it ended up being one of the biggest battles of the year. Right. But we also remember Big T versus uh, uh, B-Magic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was where the same styles were clashing, but it just didn't go that well. That's the way that I'm looking at it. Now, is this battle going to be fire? Absolutely. Is this going to be one of the best battles on the card? I hope so. Mm -hmm. But because of the emotional factor of some of the other battles... It, it, I just need y'all need y'all brothers to smoke something because y'all both got stuff after this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got better looks after this summer madness. So uh, you know, we we so we clear. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. clear as far as you beat out. You're not gonna go home and tear down all your beat out posters and burn up. You know your um, African beads and shit like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Petty man, okay. Took away the, 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 took away your I took aunt. the bandana. I took everything. the aunt. I took everything. everything. Oh, mm -mm. oh man, yeah. B-Dot's my guy. Man. Even the red like, hoodie he had on versus Cortez. I nope. I threw no, that so away. No more black African nope. powder. No. Last day. Okay. Nope. Oh, but you still picked him to win though. Yeah. Okay. I'm not um, dumb. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, I want to talk to you about something else that uh, breaking news that came down, and I think that we can just you know put this all in here. So we could just, you know, keep this thing moving. Mm -hmm. Um, you had the announcement was made mm -hmm. that Briz Rothstein versus Murder Mook is not happening. Now, when it just happened, you know, everybody is um is seeing things from the the the, the perspective of right there on the spot. Whoa, Briz is not battling? Mm -hmm. What the hell happened? And the, right. I'm not gonna lie. The way it was presented to us, presentation is everything. Mm -hmm. The way it was presented. The words were used, got his first half, got deposits, was writing, came to the shootout, to, to the face-off, not face-off, but came yeah. to the production and everything, and then told us he wasn't going to do the battle. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, we got to hear both sides of the story, and I want to throw this to you. Mm -hmm. The way it was presented, does that present it to you as the company is in agreement with why he's not battling? No. That clear, no. No. If me, I, I own a company, right? This is a business. This is a business, right? If I say Showtime SP has got to work or Showtime SP has got to do something today, he's not going to be here. Mm. I'm presenting it in a manner that you have something going on, yeah. but it's showing the highest level of respect by saying, you know, whatever the case may be. Also, you, but if, right, universal. <laughs> but if I'm saying, mm -hmm. I don't know where that nigga's at, man. Like. He was paid to be here, yeah. but he ain't gonna be here. Yeah. Is that presenting it in a fashion that's yeah. showing respect or, or, or that you respected the process or that they respected the process? No. You know what I'm saying? Because what you do here, 
you are, you, you know what I'm saying, we make sure that you're good and stuff like that. But I'm not going to jump out the window and be like, well, he was paid to be here for Summer Madness to do these recaps with me, but he told me he can't be here. Deposits were sent out. Like, I, like that, that's like, I'm like, it's that, almost kind of petty. I'm about right? to say, why would, why would you even say that? Like, why, why would that even be said? Like, what does the, the monetary obligation have to do with the person? It's like, listen, it's not going down. We have no idea where Briz is. We don't. We haven't. We've been sending various text messages and things like that, and we have no idea what's going on. If anybody can find Briz, please notify us and and, and things like that. Or it could have been there was an agreement where Briz said that he did not want to do the battle. Is there is there a full fledged fact that Briz said I'm not doing this battle? Cause I find that hard to believe that literally last week he was all with it. We was yeah, we was in it. We was like yes, this is fine. This is the main event. This is the battle that is the anchor for this whole card. Mm -hmm. And now you telling me that it's not going down for reasons that you know we don't we, know. We, yeah. can't, we don't know. I don't know. No, this isn't a death. Listen, I'll take a death in the family. I'll take a, a sick dog, a kid. You know what I'm saying? I'll take something like that. Listen, you know, COVID is a serious situation. Uh, he might have been contacted. We don't know. Anything like that mm -hmm. lets me know. All right, we'll bet. We know this ain't going down. Mm -hmm. John John literally was saying, hey, I am dying. All right. I'm, I I want to do this battle, but I, I Even come. JC, like mad different MCs were saying that. I'll take Mook in two weeks. What's up? <laughs> because... The opportunity to battle against Murder Moot. What? It ain't coming every day, dog. That's an exhibition <laughs> match, bro. It hey, it's, it's a pit. Listen, this is a, a NBA pickup game. All, all nine of the players got injured, and they just now they in the crowd. Hey, anybody uh, six feet over? Get them in there. Mm -hmm. um, so Calico says something interesting. They announced me, and he backed out, question mark. Saying, like, do you think that this could be tied to the whole Calico and all of the drama that happened situation? Like, I don't know. Um, but spec. Oh, because Calico would be there too. Right. I, I don't think. I, no, that doesn't make any sense at all because even if there was any URL event, Calico's going to be there. Right. It doesn't matter what event it is, Cal's going to be there. So it's not like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because he's battling on the card and he's bringing his whole entourage with him, it might have been some static. But at the same time, it's been a year. It's been a year. If y'all didn't, if y'all didn't hash this out before y'all signed this contract to battle each other, not to mention I'm not even battling you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's all weird. It's just it's weird, and that's the best word that I can use right now. I want to use a really big word, but I'm not. <laughs> It's, it's just weird right now, and, right, 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 and I'm right. upset, and and I'm and I'm upset because that, you know what I'm saying? Like I, you can't keep breaking my heart like this. You right. say, you know, Kobe, all right? Mm -hmm. COVID, Chadwick Boseman, right. and now Brad's battle is not going. To, look, can 2020 be over? Like I I I just need it to be over. Right. Like I am Keisha Cole right now. Mm -mm -mm. I just want it to be over. I, well, I don't look at Murder Mook as a problematic individual, and I don't look at Briz to be one either. Mm -hmm. But to say that this is an arduous situation would be a long shot. Um, you have a, a, a entity, which is Caffeine, mm -hmm. who is largely invested in the battle rap culture right now. Absolutely. And not only that, they definitely have direct competition now with King of the Dot going over to Twitch. Twitch is a, a way bigger platform. Yeah. Twitch is one of the top 40 viewed platforms in the Dream world. Man. Yes. Caffeine yes. is in the seventy thousand. That that just lets you know how far apart they are, right? And you have Caffeine investing so much money into the battle rap community, like trying to put these events together, getting mm -hmm. these main events, getting these things going and trying to put things together at the highest level. And when you have an M C who's the main event back out, that could be a detriment in a lot of ways, you know? And I understand and this is not the fault of the Ultimate Rap League, because right. they're they definitely like I said, I was on the phone with them for almost an hour about, you know, the Me Gym tournament, et cetera, thing mm. earlier. And this was not the furthest thing from any part of our conversation was not dealing with So, oh, yeah, that's Briz, that Briz and Boop done. Nah, no, we spoke about a lot of things, put Thanks. a lot of things into perspective. Right. And we could, we definitely. talked about a lot of things. We put things in perspective. Me, Jim's, and his conversation was very good. Mm -hmm. We left all on a positive note. Mm -hmm. Jim's got me out of there. You see, I got to stop being dirty on, but it's all good. Um, so, to see that this battle isn't happening. It was how you won. 
That was the dirty part. <laughs> yeah, because it was a coin flip. It's only two battles. It's a dirty Jim's coin. Jim's get to pick one. I it's get to pick dirty one. Dirty pick. Oh, it was but a dirty battle. But I ain't gonna lie. He had Holmesy in our conversation. Like he had him all the way in the conversation. Um, oh, he picked Holmesy. Yeah, he picked him. He picked him. He picked him. He picked him. He's you know still know? dirty. So, and he's light he skin and he's dirty. He picked him to win. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and then the way the coin is all about the way the cookie crumbles. I picked Bill Collector to win, mm -hmm. but due to the coin flip, I, I was stuck with none, none. So I'm like, ugh. And then Bill Dirty. Yeah. But uh, long story short, man, um, what you thinking, man? It, okay, I want to go through go this route. I'm about to say, are we gonna go? I'm gonna go this route. I'm gonna go this, route, go this route. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. We that's something else. Mm. Um, if Briz don't do this battle. And the, the, the reason why it's not happening is not good enough. Career's over? I'm, I'm, I want to say yeah, but there's always leagues that are always got some money. And they always, you know, mm -hmm. time, he'll own. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, his career's not over. Maybe maybe his heart's not in it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe his mom, maybe he's not there mentally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah, you know, it's 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 a mysterious, perplexing situation that, you know, it just makes you, it, it, you do ask the questions. And, you know, there are top-level MCs that are out there that are in the know. Mm -hmm. And I've spoke to, you know, a person or two that said there is a legitimate reason. So that's why we have this conversation, because there could be a legitimate reason. And then once we hear that, we're like, oh, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah, I wouldn't you know have did a battle. But I don't battle. feel like they were under the pretense of that because the way the the rollout to him not doing it was presented. Yeah. It put Mook in a position in the driver's seat. Like, I don't want to be thinking about this guy. I'm still going to be at the event. I'm still going to have rounds just in case he pops out of nowhere. Yeah. So it, a person talking about somebody popping out of nowhere don't know what the hell going on yeah. with him. You know what I'm is saying? Is this a work or a shoot? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Is I, it a work or a shoot? That's the perfect way to put it. Mm -hmm. Um, You got anything else about that, man? What's up, bro? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still all for it. I'm, I'm down for it. This summer madness, I'm off, so I'ma be up in here. Gang, gang, gang. That makes a lot of sense, man. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you already know what to do, what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers, that notification. The street, <laughs> scream rest in peace. He died with his bachelor's luck, and I'm yelling free nine. I write whenever it's free time. I heard it's a shortage on 30s, so my nigga triple up P5.